What's up guys? Today I'll be showing you my top 10 must-have iOS 7 compatible Cydia tweaks for the iPhone 5s, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4, 4s, and every other iOS 7 capable device. Let's get started. The first tweak that I'll be covering today is called Tiny Bar. And Tiny Bar is a tweak that shrinks your notifications down so they don't cover so much of your screen up. Instead, it's confined to the status bar where it will continue to scroll until the entire notification has been read. You can customize the spring and duration of the scrolling and you also have the option to hide the title and the icon. You can pick Tiny Bar up for free on the Big Boss repo. The second tweak that we'll be covering today is called Blood, and this is one of my favorite tweaks that has been released thus far. Blood is a universal dark keyboard for iOS that just looks better than the stock keyboard in my opinion. You can turn it off anytime that you want inside of the settings application, but trust me, you won't want to do that. And this really helps when you're reading or typing something up at night. You can pick Blood up for free on the Big Boss repo. The third tweak that we'll be covering today is called Pluck 2. Now Pluck 2 allows you to choose or queue up the songs that you want to listen to directly from your lock screen or your notification center. If you enjoy music as much as I do, you have to download this tweak because it's so necessary. It appears on your lock screen as a music note and you can go ahead and press and hold it to bring up your menu or your music notes. And you can go ahead and press and hold it to bring up a short version of your music application. You can find Pluck 2 on the Big Boss repo for 99 cents. The fourth tweak that we'll be covering today is called NCO Bay. Now NCO Bay gives you more control of your notification center. It allows you to pull down on a certain section of your notification center to save more time. It opens up directly to that specific page that you were trying to access at that time instead of the first page. You can pick NCO Bay up for free on the Big Boss repo. The next tweak that we'll be covering today is called Slide for Usage. Now slide for usage allows you to slide down on the apps in your app slider to see information such as time since lunch, time spent last session, and total spent time in the app since the tweet was installed. This isn't a revolutionary tweak or anything, but if you're into time management like myself, you'll probably enjoy this tweet. You can pick slide for usage up for free on the My My Repo. Number six on the list is Preference Organizer 7. Now this tweak allows you to organize the preferences inside of your settings application. It's an alternative to the City of Tweak preference folder. This is one of my favorite tweaks ever when it was first released and I did enjoy it so much. Unfortunately, it's not available right now for iOS 7. With Preference Organizer 7, you don't get as much functionality as you do with the other tweak, but it is a relief knowing that your preferences are organized and you don't have to look everywhere to find a certain thing. It automatically organizes the apps into sections such as Apple Apps, Social, Cydia, and the App Store. Everything else is seemingly organized enough. You can pick Preference Organizer 7 up for free on the Insanely I repo. The seventh tweak on the list is called CC Loader. Now CC Loader allows you to reorder or disable sections of the control center. You can get rid of sections that you don't have any use for and even get rid of the separator lines if you see fit. You can also set the media controls to show up only when music is playing and all of this is done inside of the settings application. You can pick CC Loader up for free on the Big Boss repo. Number eight on this list is Spring to My 3. Now Spring to My 3 is basically a large collection of city of tweaks all in one place. Nearly everything on your device from the status bar to the dock can be customized with this tweak. There's a brief description of every action inside of the preferences settings if you want to check that out. You can find Spring to My 3 on the Big Boss repo for $2.99. The ninth tweak on the list is called Messages Customizer. This tweak allows you to customize the color of your text messages. You can customize everything from the bubbles to the background in the stock messages application. Mine isn't that pretty, but I'm sure you get the gist of it. If you're really into theming, this is definitely a tweak for you. You can pick this tweak up for free on the My My Repo. And the last and final tweak on the list for the month of January is Home Screen Designer. Now, Home Screen Designer allows you to fully customize the layout of your device. You can choose what design you want your apps to appear in, and you can also download layouts from other users. This tweak is similar to the tweak Iconoclast from Layout Maker, and it's definitely worth downloading if you don't download anything else on this list. You can pick Home Screen Designer up for $1.99 on the Big Boss repo. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Jailbreak on me, and like my Facebook fan page at Facebook.com. Slash jailbreak on me. And I'll see you in my next video.